Mystery of Meghan's Plaster, Duchess of Sussex has been sporting a bandage on her middle finger in Australia, so did she burn it making more of that banana bread? Dot. The pregnant Duchess of Sussex took Sunday morning off to rest, exhausted by her and Harry's busy schedule on there from her busy royal tour of Australasia. And it appears Meghan Markle, 37, might have also sustained a small injury since kicking off her royal tour with Prince Harry in earnest on Tuesday as she has been sporting a plaster on the middle finger of her left hand since Friday. Meghan was last seen without a plaster on Thursday, as the royal couple visited Melbourne on their third day of engagements. However by Friday a plaster was noticeably visible on the finger next to Meghan's ring finger, on which she wears a wedding band fashioned from the same piece of Welsh gold used to create the Queen's, and her engagement ring, which features diamonds from the late Princess Diana's collection. Kensington Palace declined to comment on the reason Meghan is wearing the plaster, but some royal fans suggested on Twitter she may have burned it baking another batch of her popular banana bread, after she prepared fruit loaf for farmers in drought hit Dubbo at the start of the couple's overseas tour. Dressed in a striped dress by Martin Grant as she took a trip to Sydney's Bondi Beach with husband Harry on Friday, Meghan was first seen sporting the plaster four days into the couple's busy schedule of engagements. And by Saturday, the Duchess was still seen covering a finger injury as she visited the Anzac Memorial at Hyde Park in Sydney. When she re-emerged after taking Sunday morning off, following a late night at the Invictus Games celebrations on Saturday, pregnant Meghan was still wearing the plaster as she attended a reception for Invictus Games competitors hosted by the Prime Minister of Australia in Sydney. And four days later, on Monday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were pictured walking along Kingfisher Bay jetty on Fraser Island, Queensland, on day seven of their tour, with Meghan's plaster still on show. While Kensington Palace declined to comment on the injury behind the plaster, it hasn't stopped eagle-eyed royal fans speculating over what might be behind it. Meghan still has a plaster and looks like a couple more new rings. One follower tweeted. Another suggested Meghan might have been back in the kitchen after she whipped up a batch of banana bread for farmers in drought hit Dubbo at the start of the tour. They said, more attempts at banana bread? Seriously that is me when I'm done cooking in the kitchen, but I have about three plasters. The LA-born Duchess may be referring to her new, temporary edition by its British name, the plaster, after her husband teased her about her Americanisms at an event back in April. Addressing LA-born Meghan at a forum on climate change, women's rights and sport in London, he explained how now she's in the UK she should refer to band-aids as plasters, prompting laughter from his audience, and Meghan herself. Don't get sucked into the system, of putting on a band-aid, American style, he joked at the time. Global Peace Ambassador Rachelica Christian, 28, from Cameroon, said of the discussion, they were really laughing about it. It's a Britishism, right? He was explaining that you call band-aid plasters here. Meghan isn't the first royal to set tongues wagging with an unexplained minor injury. The Duchess of Cambridge was at the center of speculation when she was also pictured sporting various plasters four times in just a few months in 2016. In August of that year, during a visit to the national youth charity Youthscape in Luton, she was seen wearing a plaster on her left thumb. Then in November she was spotted with a large plaster across her left hand at a women's center in Gloucester, the morning after attending the movie premiere of A Street Cat Named Bob. Weeks later she was seen with another wound in a different place at a children's tea party at the Natural History Museum. Kate was then spotted sporting a nude-colored tape around the tip of her left thumb at a Christmas Day church service.